Konnichiwa, watashi no mai wa tomi an. Uh -uh. I live in Japan. I live in Japan. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Tomi's World. You already know it's your girl Tomi, and I am back with another video. I give you my heart. today's video I'm going to be spilling the tea for you guys on the five things that I wish I knew before I moved to Japan so you don't make these same mistakes okay I am going to be dividing these into five different categories which are culture shock back home social life work life and shopping not particularly in that order so if you guys are interested in hearing about the five things that I wish I knew and the five things that you should know before moving to Japan, then all you gotta do is stay tuned. The first thing we are going to be talking about is going to be culture shock because that is just one of the biggest things that you will have to deal with when you move to Japan. It's a whole new country, there are a whole new set of rules, so many different things that you don't know, so many things that you will have to get used to, and these are not all bad things, neither do I believe that they are all good things, but yeah, culture shock will be one of those things that you should prepare yourself for. I feel like I wasn't that prepared for culture shock, I was just planning to come to Japan, I was gonna live overseas, I was gonna have a blast. And I was not thinking about all the things that I was not ready for. So for me, I'm not a big fan of sushi and anything particularly raw. If you have been to Jamaica or if you know any Jamaicans or if you just know anything about Jamaica, then you know that our food is like cooked more to the burning point and Japanese food is definitely the total opposite of that. So when I just came over here, that was one of the biggest culture shock moments for me. I'm like, oh my god, I don't eat sushi. But guys, if you are like me, just relax. Sushi is not the only thing that is here to eat because trust me, the food here, they got some stuff. Like, I like steaky, I like tonkatsu, I like fried pork and egg, that is very oishi and then they have like restaurants from other countries like I love Ganesh which is Indian food and so much more but yeah culture shock is one of those things that I wasn't prepared for and I need you guys to prepare for that and it's not just about the food I'm just talking about food because I'm a fatty and I like to eat okay and if you don't like food something's wrong with you honey get yourself checked Okay, over to point number two. The second thing I wish I knew more about before moving to Japan is definitely the work life. Because I'm a jet and when I was coming to Japan, what I really had to guide me was the general jet contract, but that really does not apply for many of the different prefectures because your prefectures or your BOE are definitely the people who basically hire you. So they make the rules and those are the rules that you will have to live by. For example, initially when I was coming to Japan, I thought I was gonna have like 20 vacation days, but for my prefecture, we only have 15. There are some other prefectures that only have five. So there are so many different rules here when it comes on to work. And you just have to focus on that of your board of education. One of the other things I wasn't prepared for as it pertains to work life is that someone would be in charge of me so much so to tell me, you can't drive, you are not allowed to drive to work. That is not something I'm used to, I'm used to my freedom. If I can afford a car, then I should be able to drive. Another work-related issue that I was not anticipating, so it ended up taking me really off guard, was the fact that in Japan, people work really hard. That's how I'm gonna say it. So even if they don't have like anything to do, like now we're on spring break, spring vacation, they will find something to do and make themselves look busy. 
I'm not used to that lifestyle. If there's nothing to do in Jamaica and you're at work, we're just kind of lounging. You're not going to try to find something to do to make it look like you're busy. If there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. But the work life here is a lot different. So y'all got to prepare for that. Read up on that. Watch the videos that you have to watch because trust me, the work life here is a lot different than you are used to. I warned you. Don't be like me. Okay, on to point number three. The third thing that I wish I knew before moving to Japan is going to center around social life. Before coming to Japan, I considered myself to be somewhat of an introverted extrovert. So I had many extroverted tendencies. I can get along well in a crowd. I'm good with socializing. I'm really good with people. It's easy for me to make friends. But when I came to Japan, honey, they were like, mm -mm -mm, you're an extrovert, go sit down. You know? Because it was so difficult for me to make friends here, even up to this point. One of the main reasons is definitely because my Japanese is really, 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 really trash. Like, uh, trash. Garbage can. You know what I mean? So that made it really hard for me to make friends here. Because I don't speak their language and no one can really connect with someone else if you don't speak what they speak. And I don't know why I wasn't anticipating this. I don't know, it never even crossed my mind before I came to Japan. It was like, everything will be okay. You're a sociable person, you'll meet friends. But it was so hard to meet anyone, especially people my own age. Another reason why I think it was very hard for me to make friends here is because Japanese people generally see foreigners as a way to learn English. And I'm already an English teacher. I don't want to spend my fun times helping someone else to learn English. I don't mind doing it, but it's not necessarily what I would want me and my friends to be having a conversation about. So I don't consider that to be very much of a friendship, if you know what I mean. So yeah, your social life will take a major hit, especially if you're placed in one of those really Inaka towns where the young people kind of just moved out and went to Tokyo, and then you find that most of the people in your town are Oba-chans or Oji-chans, then you're gonna be like, yeah. Then your social life is really gonna take a hit. So prepare for that because I was not and I'm just trying to help y'all, okay? I'm just trying to help y'all. Let me get some tea because I feel like I'm spilling too much of it. thing I was not prepared for at all when I was coming to Japan was definitely shopping. I heard people talking about how you might not be able to find your size or whatever, but let me say, I wouldn't consider myself to be a fashionista, but it was still very hard for me to find anything here, trust me. When it comes on to shopping in Japan, if you are a little bit thicker or by any chance you're just not Japanese size, then you are going to have horrible problems when it comes on to shopping. Stuff are just gonna be weird. It's gonna be shorter on you, or it's just not gonna fit your body well, or sometimes you might not find anything to fit you at all. Initially, when I came to Japan, this really gave my self-esteem a hit. I was like, I did not know that I am this fat. But you know what? No matter how big you are, it doesn't matter because you are gorgeous. The Japanese fashion scene just doesn't carry many varieties when it comes on to size. So you guys should prepare for that before you come because that is one of the things that I definitely wish I knew before coming to Japan because I would definitely stock up on so much more things. And now that I haven't been home for like two years, it's getting bad. I have so much trouble when it comes on to shopping in Japan and it drives me crazy. <sighs> so the final thing I wish I knew before moving to Japan is definitely that back home things are going to go on without you. I don't know why I didn't even realize that this was going to happen. 
it was like I wasn't even thinking about it and once I came to Japan it became so evident that life back home goes on without you so many horrible things happened so many good things happened but no matter what life is just going on without you whether you are home or not for example my granddad died and that is one of the most horrible things that happened since i've been here and then on the good end of the spectrum my friend got married congratulations carrie berry but i didn't get to go to that wedding either because i don't know probably my friend was thinking like oh she's not gonna fly all the way across the country to come to my wedding just so you know i would because i love you but yeah life goes on without you when you are in japan and sometimes that is a hard pill to swallow but it is a pill that you must swallow okay honey so if you're planning to move to japan just know everybody's life is gonna go on without you oh did my eyes just go cast oh my god <laughs> so those are the five main things that i wish i knew before moving all the way across the world to Japan and if you guys are watching this and you are expats in different countries I would really like to know some of the things that you wish you knew before you moved to that other country yeah let's share tips under this video I'm down for that also please remember to like comment share subscribe just show your girl some love because we are almost at 1000 subscribers which you guys know i have been waiting forever to get to i'm so excited about that so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye